Welcome back. It's this week our Zips take on the number one Alabama Crimson Tide. Last week, Bama destroyed number 10 Texas A&M 38 to 13. So I'm expecting this to go exactly how you'd think. Starting off first and 10 with a game to Norrells and he gets punished by Harris. Freaking punished. Now third and four with Irons dropping back to throw and uh, he's nowhere near his target. A punt and Bama takes over. Bryce Young has uh, looked fine so far this season but didn't have great numbers last week against A&M. But that wouldn't be the case this week as Young hits Bolden for a 14 yard catch and throw which leads to Brian Robinson Jr. Brian Robinson sweeps around the edge and absolutely buries Amonqua with the stiff arm as he scampers in for six. Freaking buries him. The next drive starts the same way for Akron as Norris gets dropped by Mathis for a loss. This time it will lead the third and five as Irons drops back and once again misses badly, forcing another punt. Third and eight now as Young takes the snap, drops back, and throws to Mechie on the sideline, who goes up that same sideline for 40 yards as he just beats people off of him. My goodness, take another look as he just says, nope. A few plays later, and it's second and four. Young dropping back, sees Tennyson over the middle, and boom. Boom. Touchdown. 14 to nothing. Alabama. Good Lord. Here we go. Next drive, first and ten with irons rolling out, trying to find a wide receiver, breaking out deep, but again, just inaccurate. You can't hit anybody. Second and ten, iron rolling out again, only this time, Drew Sanders chases him down and drops him for a loss of friggin' eight. Third and 18, and irons finally connects over the middle to Brank for a huge gain. Akron's first first down of the day as the quarter concludes. Bama leads it 14 nothing, and it does not look good for the Zips. Fourth and seven for the Zips as Irons tries the middle again. And, uh, you know, you can guess that he missed horribly, giving it right back to Bama. Second and seven for the Tide, and here comes that man again. Robinson just having his way with the Akron defense. Next play, Young rolls out and takes off only to fumble on the hit, but the Tide somehow get it back. Very next play, Young with a guy in his face, throws up a prayer in the middle of the field. It gets picked off. Oh, oh. Wait, nope. Later in the drive, it's third and goal, and Young is a contortionist. His head almost came off his body, but he's in for another score. It's getting out of hand. Akron takes over, and Iron takes off for a 16, and almost takes it to distance. Is this hope? Is this what hope feels like? No. No, it isn't, as the next four plays lead to Bama getting the ball back again. It's Akron continues to falter in every facet of the game. Brick hands, can't throw, get blown up, have a sack lunch. Yum, yum, yum. Bama's next drive starts with more gaping holes, but wait. A diving interception by Watts out of nowhere. Look at Watts just ball hawking. Finally, a spark for Akron, and Coach Claret loves to see it. What he does not love to see there's another ensuing third down where Irons gets obliterated again. Akron has to punt. So to this point, Young has dominated the game, barring the la that last interception and a fumble earlier, so I guess he really hasn't dominated, but through the air, domination. Right on cue, Young to Bolden for a 19-yard gain to set up a 13-yard man run from Robinson for another six points. Take a look again as number five goes to heaven. Doesn't deserve his name anymore. He shall forever be known as number five from this point forward. Did you know Saban isn't satisfied? He wants all of the Infinity Stones. I mean, clearly Bama needs another pep talk because, you know, they have to hang at least 70 for the pollsters, right? But Irons isn't going to let that happen, right? Uh oh. Akron punts again. Bama takes over and immediately it's Robinson time again as number five eats a shoulder full of grown man once again. And later on, second and five and Young hits Jojo Earl for an 11 yard score as everyone gets a tutty today. Next drive, Irons drops back and you know what's gonna happen. It's Bama's ball thanks to Davis. Very next play, Young drops back and tosses the prettiest throw with the game to a diving former Buckeye by the name of Jamison Williams. Speed kills. 28 yard touchdown. 42 to nothing. Tied. 
This girl in the stands has a better chance of being caught than a throw from Irons. All right, Akron has had enough as we head into the half with Bama up 42, zilch. Let's take a look at the first half numbers as Bama just owned it entirely. Akron has to run the ball to stop the bleeding. They have to drain the clock, get these guys off the field. The drive summary for Bama is almost perfect, almost. Shades of the Buffalo Bills last year. Watts left his body to get that interception or else it's it would be 49 to nothing right now. All right, we pick up the action in the third quarter with Bama driving and throws deep to Meji, who somehow comes down with it for a 40 yard touchdown pass. How the hell? I, it's... Defense has butter dripping from the fingertips. Next drive, Irons drops back to pass on second and 10, and it's caught by the wrong team. That's not the right team, Irons. Helms intercepts the ball and makes a house call to put Bam up 56 to nothing. There is no God for Akron. In case you were wondering, the stats are getting worse. Next drive, and uh, tell me if you've seen this before. Iron misses his wide receiver. Iron throws, and it's almost picked. Norris is blown up. Bam a ball. Bryce Young and Brian Robinson continue to go to work. Screw pulling the starter. Saving wants Akron to rename their city after him. Touchdown, Mechie. 63 nothing. Are you curious about Young's stat line? Put on sunglasses. Or you will go blind. Bama isn't done, though. Next drive and the hits keep coming. And yes, you guessed it. Irons throws to the wrong team again as Christian Harris arrives to the party. Just lurking in the shadows like vengeance. Uh, uh, I mean, Batman. First and goal, Bama, and you know what's next. Robinson now is making defenders look him in the eye as he carries them into the end zone. Clarence dropping F-bombs. Definitely dropping F-bombs. Next drive, Norrell's finally find some space for a decent gain as we end the third quarter with Bama on top. 70 to nothing. But you know what? Saban isn't done. He's not done, y'all. Start of the third, and Irons actually hits Tristan Brank for a 39-yard missile of destruction. And we're going to watch the replay because it's the only highlight for Akron, and Claret paid me to do it. First and goal, zips as we threaten the goose egg. First and goal, eat it. Second and goal, eat it. Third and goal, dismantled. Bam a ball as Iron coughs it up on a QB keeper, and all hope is lost. All right, for this next drive, I'm just going to be silent. It's uh, just admire it. It's kind of a thing of beauty. Seventy-seven to nothing. Roll Tide. As lethal as this Bama offense has been, the defense has been absolutely lights out. All right, final play of the game here and just put them out of their misery. Irons is looking for some garbage stats, but Christian Harris had his own plans. House call, 84 nothing to end the game and completely bury us. I think you know who the player of the game is, is Bryce Young just had himself a monster game and went full steam ahead on the Heisman race. Almost lost his head at one point. It was, his neck came clear off his body, but somehow pushed it in. Seven touchdowns total for the guy. Like, my God. All right, let's take a look at the stats from your 84 to nothing slobber knocker. DJ Irons, 13 out of 34 for 135. No touchdowns, four picks. Good Lord. John Zell Norris with 19 attempts for 67 yards. Tristan Brank out here with four for 79. One coming on that huge pass in the fourth. And then Michael Scott, not the office. Nine tackles, one for loss. And then Watts with the pick. That is the only bright spot for this defense. Then you've got Bryce Young with just a monster game. 25 out of 30, 356, six touchdowns, seven total. He had the one pick, but who cares? At Robinson, what can you say? That guy's a man. He just bowled over everybody he touched. 165 yards on the ground. And Mechie with six catches for over 102. And then Harris, two picks. Two picks for that man. All right, I'll see you all next week as Akron takes on Bowling Green and we try to get the first win. Starting off the season 0-4, but... You can only go up from here, right? If you like this new style of video, let me know in the comments. And if you really liked it, you could always 
like the video and maybe subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one because I'm going to keep doing them like this and they're going to keep getting better and better. See you all in the next video.